Also learning about a deadly shooting at an apartment complex on the near northeast side. Yeah, that shooting happened near 25th and Keystone last night. CBS 4's Jesse Wells has more on the history of the violence at that complex. The deadly shooting Wednesday night marked the sixth homicide in less than four years here at the Newbridge Apartments. Those deaths have sparked legal fights over the safety of this property. Just after 1030 Wednesday night, 34 year old Randy Hinkle was shot in the parking lot of the Newbridge Apartments and died after being rushed to the hospital. The behavior here is unacceptable. Crime scene tape from that overnight homicide crossed over this memorial where 29 year old Julia Simpson was shot to death on the same street just last month. I'm not the only parent that's grieving. Willie Quinn knows the pain both families are feeling because his 20 year old son Marquise Quinn was also killed at the same complex in August 2019. That death marked the first of six killings on the property in less than four years. It's a harsh word, but I hate them apartments. Following Quinn's murder, 60 year old Johnny Purchase was working as a community outreach coach at the Newbridge complex when someone killed him on the job in January 2021. His family filed a civil lawsuit, which is still ongoing. That suit accuses the apartments of failing to maintain a reasonably safe property, not doing background checks on tenants, or employing adequate security. It is a death trap. Someone's always getting killed over there. I get no peace. Now he's a cold case. He on the shelf. Willie says his son's death is a wound that never heals because no one has ever been arrested for the crime. Willie just wishes the apartment managers would clean up the property and people in the area would speak up to hold the various killers accountable. It seems like don't nobody care over there. Somebody knows something, so say something. Not only about my son, but all about the other homicides over there. Again, because all six homicides here at the Newbridge Apartments remain unsolved, anyone with information on any of those cases can still contact either IMPD's Homicide Office or Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News. And you can find that number online at CBS4ND.com. Just look for this story on the front of our homepage, along with our coverage of the other multiple incidents of gun violence in Indy over the past 24 hours. It has been a rough 24 hours for the city of Indianapolis. We are all hurting, and you, and you feel for mm -hmm. the families, these victims. It's just, we want it to stop. We do. I just have to say that. All right.